Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. You, you're supposed to say the, I say whiskey, oh, you say vault. Let me try again. You're so slow today. Let me try again. You're so dim. Welcome to the... <laughs> All right, we're drinking uh, bourbon from just down the road. Really? Now this is by request, Mark Rodriguez. Red-handed treaty. Oak. I think uh, now Mark may not be watching our show anymore. Texas Hill Country. I think he requested this like four months ago, <laughs> but that's how long our list of requests is. Right. And so, sorry, Mark, but if you're still here, we finally got to it. Now the cool thing is, I got remember I got to go visit their distillery. They're over there off of Fitz off of uh, Fitzhugh. Sure all the way down at the end by Highway 12 towards right. Proof and Cooper. Yeah, yeah. And they now make their own bourbon. Now, when this was released, this is called Red Handed Bourbon. What they did, and the reason it's called Red Handed is because they went around taking bourbons from other states. So they sourced one from Kentucky, or they barrels from Kentucky, barrels from Tennessee, and barrels from Indiana, which we know is gonna be probably MGP. Mm. Um, this is a 6030. 60-30 corn rye, 30% okay. rye. That's a lot of rye. And then they, so they took those barrels from everywhere else and they did exactly what we're wanting to do, which is break them into smaller barrels and then mix them together. You know it would really suck if you were an independent distillery in mm. Indiana? Oh yeah. <laughs> because like, every this time- This is from an independent distillery in every Indiana. Time like, sees, oh, MGP. Every time, every time somebody sees a bottle, it's Indiana. It's like, oh, it's that gigant, gigantic whiskey conglomerate. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, poor bastards. It's like, no, it's just us. So they aged them anywhere from six to 18 months, depending on which one you got. Yeah, there is a bit of rye in here, for sure. It is very spicy on the nose, kind of sharp. So, you and I have had very different days the past couple of days. No kidding. My wife and my kids are out of town. Oh, dude. And, dude! And... So you're just lounging. I didn't even come in today. You're just lounging. I didn't even come in. No, yesterday I didn't come in. I just, you know, took an email from the house, watched some Netflix, played some video games. And then, <laughs> and then today, it like, the first half of the day started the same. And then I went to go see a movie. I just got back from Dunkirk. Uh, what have you been doing the last couple of days? I've been working my off. I've been going from about 7.30 till about 2 a.m. for the last 48 hours Yeah. until today. And then today I had a whole bunch of stuff to get ready for a big three-day event next week. Lovely. So I'm exhausted right now. Well, I'm not exhausted. I just haven't spoken, like verbalized anything for about two days now. <coughs> so to get back into the routine of communicating. Oh, taste that. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, from the smell, it was really dramatic on this bourbon. I was expecting it to kick my ass. Ooh, that's light and, it's a light it honey. light and friendly, Oof. and the rye gives it just enough spice that it's not boring. That is surprisingly nice. That is, that, yeah. I absolutely. I was not prepared for this to be this good. I absolutely I like. I don't know why, though. The taste better than, uh, the nose and the smell. I'm thinking, man, this is going to be pretty rye heavy. Uh, and me too. I'm, I'm looking for more bourbon than rye usually when I'm drinking a bourbon. Now they say black pepper, but I'm not getting any black pepper on that. I'm getting a little bit of cinnamon maybe. Um, for a spice, man, I want more of this. <laughs> I really like wait, that. Wait, 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 what are you doing? No. Ah, <laughs> I tried, I tried. Oh, you know what we could do though? Um, while I was hanging out with them, they gave me one of their new, uh, because they made this. Right. Well, you were saying. I just don't. I don't have the will to. Re I just don't have it. <laughs> just take dance from me. Take puppet. it all. <laughs> take My whiskey it all. puppet. Um, Why is that down the McAllen Inn? Why would you say that out loud? There's a McAllen. Wait. Oh, I know what you did. No, 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 I didn't. For the the thing. No, it's down on the outside patio because it was making my office smell. Yeah. Oh, by the way, so we have an in Instagram channel. A bunch of people said you guys should have an Instagram channel. We have an Instagram channel, so you can go find it. We'll put the link down Wait, there. Who's main? And if you were on our Instagram channel, I'm maintaining it. Okay. And so's Chad. Chad's doing video stuff on there. If you're on the Instagram channel, you would have seen what I did with that snake that you were watching behind us. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, while I was visiting, this is Treaty Oak, by the way, I don't think I said that yet. Treaty Oak, this is down from us, and uh, they did this while they were working on their own whiskey, and mm -hmm. they make a bunch of other products. But they so, now have their own whiskey, it's called Experimental 
whiskey, experimental bourbon, and it's really good, and I'm gonna show it to you. This is from a place that doesn't specialize in whiskey, then? Um, now they do. Okay, so you said but they were- I should say, okay, so no. I think by what you mean, no, they don't specialize in whiskey, but they make whiskey. They've got like uh, nine, 12 other products. So that my they make. experience with distilleries that did whiskey, whiskey as, as a side as thing, a little side thing is like, it's usually not amazing. This is, it's, it's very good. Now I will tell you this is, one specifically, this is a special variation of theirs. It's a two barrel, uh, experimental collection treaty oak. And I'm going to tell you, I wish you'd do its own video on this, mm -hmm. this treaty oak. Yeah. I think may be an award-winning bourbon. Ooh. Like if they could figure out how to, because I had, he gave me two, right. and one wasn't this and one was, but they both looked the same labels. Mm -hmm. The other one was good. This one, if they can replicate this, they're gonna start winning awards. Okay. Where are they? Because Try that bourbon. And it's actually is, very reminiscent of what they created over this here. This isn't a rye bourbon, this is a bourbon bourbon, right? Yeah. Right? Ooh, right? I'm telling you, man. These guys that's a, these guys may be some of my favorite bourbons in Texas. This is light honey. Mm -hmm. This is a potent honey. Yeah. This is a Well, it's also a higher proof, I think. Ooh, yeah. Uh, this one's 42 and this one's 50. No, I, feel, I can feel the 50 for sure. But so, uh, it's isn't not, it nice to have someone down the road that's not making crappy things? Yeah, yeah. Because then we can actually talk about it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and not be nervous that they'll show yeah, up and be uh, like... Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Spice Lavolvo. Lavolvo. Lovolvo. Lavalvo. Spice. I feel like this is about to get really I'm about to have a, out. I'm, yeah. I'm about to have a stroke. Splice Lavolvo. Lavolvo. Why not? Sure. Uh, hey guys, yesterday was my 21st birthday. Happy birthday! Because Total of weight together. Happy, happy birthday, Total Spice Lavolvo. Because of you guys. Uh, the first bottle of whiskey I bought myself was Green Spots. Well done. Well done, my friend. It was amazing, and the perfect way to end a day that started with skydiving and a pub crawl. Oh! So you still were able to taste it? I can't believe you got to that you, point and remembered you, you drank Green Spot. Right. <laughs> Love you guys. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you, Splice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And happy birthday, my friend. Yes, indeed. Did you want any more of this? Cause no, it's all you. I love that one, but I'm actually, I'm really in love with this red-handed. No, the red hit is great. The You're gonna have a little water that 50, aren't you? Yeah, just a little bit because I very much like how the flavors are standing up to the alcohol, but I'm gonna try a little water in the red handed because. Yeah, it made the honey even deeper and stronger. So I'm gonna tell you that this tastes round when you sip on it. I'm talking about the and red handed. Yeah, yeah, the red handed. It tastes kind of rounded when you sip on it instead of like a sharp bourbon. It's it's uh, it's really nice. So it feels really smooth, but it doesn't feel smooth in the sense that it's thin or boring. Um, round is the best description I can think of. See, um, you're round. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting like the really deep, dark, heavy no, no, no. flavors. These are not light rich. flavors. These are lighter flavors, but they're not thin flavors. If that makes yeah. these are brighter. Think of it like uh, the way like a pudding, right? Where it's just creamy, kind of rounded, but it's you can get a chocolate, like a milk chocolate pudding. I'm in. I'm not. I'm not at the pudding. You know, I feel it strong enough to be able to stand on my own with the pudding reference. Do it. You're the pudding guy. <laughs> oh no, I don't <laughs> want to be the pudding guy. I think we came up with a new nickname for no, this song. No, no, I don't want to be the pudding guy. Daniel Puddin. No, no. Puddington. I withdraw my comparison. <laughs> you're not the pudding guy. Puddin. If you're gonna call me Puddin, you have to call me Puddin, Puddin. with no G. <laughs> Daniel Puddin Whittington. <laughs> Jake Kane. Love you guys. The level of sarcasm makes me feel like I'm in a room full of <laughs> <laughs> full of the water of life with my closest circle of friends and brothers. You are extremely helpful in my whiskey purchases. During my time in the Navy, I had the privilege of stopping in Madeira and loved the Malmsey I was able to acquire there. I'm a, I'm a, it's a thing. I'm sure, it's a thing. Yes. Why not? Love the Malmsey. We don't have the Glen Morangi Bacala right Bacalta. now. Bacalta. He's asking about the Glen Morangi Bacalta, seeing as it's extra it matured in Malmsey barrels. See, as many whiskeys as we have here, 
There's, we we still come across people saying, "Hey, have you tried this?" And like, what the hell are you talking about? Every single video, someone says, "Hey, try this one." And I'm like, I don't actually have that one. <laughs> uh, every video, every video. Mm. You'd think that wouldn't be the case with almost 600 whiskeys, but it is. Unbound now, Odysseus. Wait, I'll tell you what is what is the hua for for Navy people? Because isn't hua Marines, right? Hua, us Marines. What's the name? I version? have no idea. I've never done a push up in my life. Well, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tell us what the version for the for the Navy is for. No, that's not true because I our Navy SEAL friend. There's he always says who are. See, I'm already talking out of my ass with everything I do here. For We're just doing, expanding it. Introdu introdu introduce an entirely new subject. I know that you also <laughs> don't know anything about. Let's talk about knitting, Rex. <laughs> Actually, ah, <laughs> I'm more of a needlepoint. <laughs> Unbound Odysseus. He, oh. Is he's uh, he transitioned to Team Mooch? Yeah, right here. yeah, right here. I'm really trying to mooch a recommendation for my blog. <laughs> this is hardcore mooching. I'm not da I'm not Davin or Ralphie, but I will keep posting dad jokes until I get a plug from you guys. Okay, so here's the thing. And <laughs> Wait, hey, before you announce it, and we'll put it in the description. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm only doing this, Joe, because. <laughs> You've been with us for so long. As a matter of fact, I, thought I think his, I thought his name was Unbound Odysseus. It is Unbound Odysseus. But if you go look at his blog, he says, "Hey, my name is Joe." You know what? So um, change it to Unbound Odysseus. Yeah. That's First name better. Unbound. Last, Last name Odysseus. Legally change your name. Yes. Okay, so the only reason I'm doing this is because he's been commenting with us since like the first month of videos. Yeah. So. There you go. Go check out his Canadian whiskey blog. It's Ontario. Ontario Scotch Lover .ca. Canada. Yeah. There you go, dude. Now, here's the thing. Mail us some damn whiskey. <laughs> oh, almost. Okay, so I'm sort of in a punchy mood today. So, the next four videos this week are all going to be sort of punchy. Did you pull up the Liam Rockford thing? Liam, he went back and he designed this cocktail. You oh, missed it. I missed it. I I haven't yet figured out how to get notified when someone responds to a conversation. All right. So somewhere in these video shoots, go pull up Liam Rockford. Liam Rockford stuff. We'll look at the ingredients list because yeah. I want to make that. That sounds very interesting. Mm. Uh, let's try something that everybody compare it to this. That everybody that everybody can, knows. Yes, yeah, something that everybody can really. Why would we do that, Rex? Because it it gets more views. <laughs> It just does. And it shows up in the search results in YouTube a little bit better. It does. <laughs> and also, uh, to give a reference point that you guys can easily try out to kind of dial in what these flavors actually are. What are we trying? Just that go for the actually... most expensive. Always. No, I'm not going for the most expensive. How about Maker's Mark? Dope. We can. I don't think we... No, no. Evan Williams. Yeah. Single Evan Williams. Barrel. Sure. I don't know if I've ever had Evan Williams, to be honest. Okay, just one, just one. All right, we so let's, videos to shoot. let's compare. You it to may be in vacation mode right now, but I'm not. Let's compare it to the red-handed. Okay, so well, we need more red-handed for it because I kept sipping on it because it was really good, <laughs> and now I don't have any left for an A B comparison. Okay, so this is Evan Williams single barrel. Totally different already in the nose. Oh yeah. Okay, so now the earth and rye is showing up stronger. Mm-hmm. And the, Comparing it to a straight up bourbon. Yeah, this is, I haven't sipped, sipped it yet, but it's sweeter. Evan Williams' smell is a lot sweeter. This smells more earth and wood tones and it a little more spice. It absolutely is a lot sweeter. And this is a single bourbon. And um, it's a bit smoother too. This is more candy. Evan Williams is more candy. The front end is smooth, and then on the back end it, it goes, hey, up. there's some wood. It builds up. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you mean, please. I just listened back. <laughs> just, I just listened back to that sentence in my head, <laughs> and it sounds really bad. Mm. Yeah. Love the pudding. I th <laughs> Chad, remove that. No! Pudding. I want to chant in the comments. Pudding. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach me to use pudding references for whiskey. <laughs> All right. I think we're good here. Yeah, yeah we're good. Uh, so here's what I want to do. We're, we're no one's. We're not getting as many people sending us video toasts. Here's the thing. Don't make it a big production. No. Use your damn cell phone. No, that's fine. Yeah. We no. need toasts. Send us toasts. No. This is what I want to do. Oh, you have a different I'm idea. I'm telling you. Well, it's an evolution of the idea. Oh. Um, okay. okay. I want because I'm thinking about if I was asked to send in a toast, I'm not a toast guy. Yeah. I don't have toasts in my back pocket. You have like Google them. 
You. Yeah. I got time. Google them. I got time to do things that are more fun than Googling than toes. Than Googling toes. <laughs> but what I, want, what I would want to be able to do is say, oh, you want, to, want me to send something in? Give me something to say. So we need to design a three-part toast. Part one, part two, and then part three, we just have people sending in the three-part toast. So that sounds really like a lot of work. No, shut the hell up. You <laughs> is our part the same every time? Yes, it's the same every time. Okay, so what's our? It's part? an official. We're talking about creating the official whiskey vault toast. Ah, oh, okay. Because for the longest time we were doing a two-part thing. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the early days, you took the entire damn thing. I did take the until entire I said game I didn't up. share until I said I gotta <laughs> say something. So I <laughs> I took half the toast. So it was a two-part deal. I don't like sharing. I want a three-part toast. Part one, part two. Part three, you guys. So who's gonna write this? So we're. I don't care. We'll get some ideas from somebody you. Give us if three somebody has tests. ideas, Daniel's kind of dim, so he's probably not gonna come up with anything. Yeah, that's true. I will sweep in last second to the rescue, come up with something amazing, like I do. I'm feeling like that, like non LED bulb that like is in the shed and turns on with a long chain. So you're agreeing that you're dim. Right now I'm feeling it. Yeah, you <laughs> click on it and when after you click on it, the light sways for a little I while. I can totally sweep in and uh, rescue the day. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna hear it? Uh, I, got, I, got, no. I got an idea. No. No, come here. I'm deaf on that ear. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. Yeah. All right. We got part one. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. <laughs> So uh, I just wanted to uh, give a toast. It's a toast that my brother taught me. Um, I feel like it's really heartfelt. It's a really good one, and I like to use it all the time. It goes like this. <clears throat> Here's to me. <sighs> Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.